And now to the Trump presidency, the looming trade war between two of the world's biggest economies, the United States and China, is escalating with the Trump administration firing the first official shots. CBS 4's Mola Lange has the latest from the White House. The first strike in the intensifying trade war came just after the clock struck midnight. The U.S. slapping levies on $34 billion worth of Chinese goods. President Trump says that number will increase to $50 billion in the next two weeks. China responded quickly with $34 billion in tariffs on U.S. products, with the Commerce Ministry saying necessary counterattacks are now in place. We are in such a great position. The president touched on the topic at his rally in Montana. Do you know that if we knock down the trade deficit, right, the trade deficit by just a little bit, 25 percent, well, we can do that easily. That's easy. If we do that, we pick up one point in GDP. The Trump administration says the tariffs are necessary to stop China from stealing intellectual property and overproducing metals. But Republican lawmakers in the nation's heartland, as well as business leaders, have reservations. I have yet to find an example where tariffs have worked uh, for the long-term good of the country that first imposes them. Jeff Schwager runs the Sartori cheese plant in Wisconsin. He says the president's trade moves will cost him millions in annual sales. And dairy farmer Stacy Limberg, who voted for the president, told our Dean Reynolds she has her own concerns. Do you think he created an issue that wasn't really an issue from your point of view? Right now, yes, and in hindsight, yes. The U.S. Chamber of Commerce says retaliatory tariffs against the U.S. threaten about a billion dollars of Wisconsin's exports. Mola Lenghi, CBS News, the White House.